Hey everyone, this is Structural Steve again. In this video, I'm going to talk about best practices for file organization and reference model management in OpenBridge Modeler. I'll also give you some tips on trimming down your reference data and recommended naming conventions for those files. So in most of the tutorials or examples you see from Bentley or from others, you know, they all have all their data in a single file. I'm talking about the alignment file, the terrain file, and other survey data files. Having all this data in one file has the potential to produce some production bottlenecks down the road where different things need to be worked on at the same time, but since all that data is in a single file, only one person can work on one thing at a time. That's why I like to separate as much of my data as possible and just reference it into the main OBM model. So in this particular file here, I have the following files separated into individual files that reference into my main model. We have the alignment file here, my clip shape file, which I'll touch on in just a second, existing ground terrain file, some existing bridge survey data here, some utilities, an updated alignment file here. I'll talk about the date on the end of this as well in just a second. I got my roadway models, right away file, some other OBM models that are on this project, and some other information here. So one big advantage of referencing in all this data is that we can clip each one of these files down to the limits of the bridge, which is all we really care about. Most of the time, the alignment and terrain files are going to be much larger than the limits of the bridge and can make it difficult to find your bridge sometimes when you try to zoom extends. And that's why I create what I call a, a clip file right here. I just call it clip shape. And the purpose of this clip shape file, like I said before, is just to trim down all your data to something more manageable. So this clip file is just a DDN file with a 2D rectangle or polygon of my area of interest. And then I reference that clip file into this main OBM file here, and then use that to clip all of my reference models using that clipping element. And it really keeps your model nice and trimmed down uh, to really only what you need. And I'll go into details of this process in some of the upcoming videos. Another thing I would recommend is adding the date to any of the files you think might change, such as the alignment file. And the reason for that is that the, the date in the file name or the description, you know, you'll know exactly when that geometry data was pulled from roadway. So that way you can check with them and see if anything has changed since that specific date. And this happens you know, pretty frequently in the early design phase you know, during a pursuit or a design build project. It also really makes moving your bridge to an updated alignment much easier to see and control. Now this is just a high level view of what I recommend for file organization and reference models from a, a general perspective. And there's a lot more thought that needs to go into how you manage your DGNs and models for planes production, but I'll save that for another video. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please help the channel out by hitting that subscribe button you see on the screen now. Give the video a like and share it with others. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond to them. See you guys in the next video.